Welcome design students. In this video we're going to assemble the frames we rendered from our rocket project into a finished video. We're going to do that using Premiere Pro and we're also going to add animated effects and titles to the project. And when we're done you'll have a professional quality video of your animation. So let's get started. Here are the frames I rendered from one of my cameras. This is um, camera 2 I think. And as you can see I have it in my images folder here. I'm going to go back a level so you can see here I have three folders. I chose to render the frame range for each camera as opposed to using the camera sequencer and rendering one camera. So I created a folder for each set of frames and numbered them by camera. So I have four cameras in my scene. Each folder contains sequence of frames from that shot. I did not render the entire animation in each camera just where I thought I might like to transition to a new shot. To set this up in Maya, you need to use the rendering menu and you need to go to the render settings and define what frame range you want to render for each camera. And select that camera and then you need to go to the render sequence options Make sure you have that camera selected, and then you can click the folder icon and set up a new folder in your images folder or wherever you have your frames going by clicking this icon right here and naming the folder appropriately. And then you click that folder and select it. And then that will set the file path for the sequence. And then you click render sequence. You must also change from single frame to name number extension. And that's the only way that it will render an image sequence. So once you get your image sequence rendered, you need to open Premiere Pro. And when you do, you'll get this window right here. And you need to click New Project and name your project something appropriately. Note where it's going. Mine is going in my Documents folder here under this high school sports folder which is not where I want it to go so I am going to change that I'm going to select documents and I'm going to make a new folder in here by clicking this button and this folder is for my Premiere Pro project and then I'm going to click OK and that will bring up the editing space in Premiere Pro when you start it up, you may end up in this space. These are the workspaces up at the top here. You need to be in the editing workspace. To bring your image sequences in, what you need to do is go to the File menu and click Import and find your image sequences. Mine is in this Rocket folder. In the Images folder, here is number one. And very importantly, what you do is you click the first image. You just click it once. Do not double click it. And then you must check this box here to tell Premiere Pro that you're importing an image sequence. So it will know to convert it to a video. On a Mac, you may have a little button down here that says Options. When you click that, you'll see the checkbox. If you don't see the checkbox, click that button that says Options. And then click Open. And now I've imported a video into a video clip into my bin here. If I double click it, here it is and I can play it. I can see um, my I can see my clips in my bin differently by clicking this button here. This is icons and this is the list view. I'm just going to leave it on the list view for now. So to import my second clip, I'm going to go to file, import, I'm going to go back to the images. This time I'm going to click the second sequence. Make sure that box is checked. Now I have that sequence in here. And then I'm going to click the next one or import the next one. Go back. Click the first frame. Make sure that box is checked. Now I have three clips in my bin. 
I'll go back and get the final clip. So now I have four clips in the bin. I'm now going to save my project. And when we come back, we will we'll assemble them into a finished sequence and add titles. And I'll see you then.